What's up, YouTube? Mid-season update is now live, bringing back a lot of MW and Black Ops Cold War meta weapons. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of the loadouts I used to use that I'm going to be using again. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope you find some old loadouts you used to use usable again. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub. I'd really appreciate it. And shout out Nodi Gang. I appreciate you guys. Let's get to the video. All right, so going over some of the weapons in the mid-season update, we got the throwback AMAX build. We got the Mono Suppressor, the Zodiac Barrel, the VLK 3 times optic, the Commando, and the 4 45 round mag this has always been the preferred amax build and it still is even after the buffs and the nerfs and the new update going over to the next ar we have the xm4 we're gonna be running the agency muzzle fast force barrel three times axial arms field agent grip and the 60 round mag this is gonna be the laser beam xm4 that has been around for so long and is now back in the mix again make sure you guys give this one a shot for those of you who want to test out your recoil control the em2 received another buff in this update so here is the em2 build we got the agency muzzle the task force barrel the three times optic we got the field agent grip for the under barrel and the 50 round which is pretty much the same as the xm4 build of course on the em2 which is a harder heading headshot multiplier weapon so definitely guys if you want to give this one a shot let me know how it goes for you going over to the m4 we have the mono suppressor the grenadier barrel the tack laser the 60 round magazine and the commando foregrip this is the throwback build and it is still popping especially after this mid-season update giving it that buff so give this build a shot all right so going over to the m13 now i know there's a lot of m13 fans out there we got the mono suppressor for the muzzle we got the tempest marksman barrel we're going to be running the commando foregrip and the 50 round paired up with the vlk three times optic give these throwback mw guns a shot they're now back in the mix and m13 has always been a laser beam i know you guys love it so here's the build make sure you throw it on all right so believe it or not the odin actually received a buff so make sure you give this thing a shot guys we got the colossal suppressor the 420 millimeter barrel the commando foregrip the 30 round and the elite comb now if you do not like the iron sight swap it out for the three times remove the stock and you should be good definitely give this thing a shot now if you feel like the wrinkle control still a little much pop out the commando for like ranger or something but this thing is like a four bullet kill so definitely a lot of fun but make sure you give it a shot especially after this update now going over to the ffar which is personally my favorite all-time ar hybrid smg gun this is the build we're rocking for the smg feeling now we're gonna go with the agency suppressor and pair that up with the ultralight this is gonna be, give you that really good strafe speed after they buff the strafe speed in this latest patch notes you already know this thing's gonna be crazy so throw on the bruiser grip and the 50 round mag this is gonna give you the best mobility now if you want to run it like an ar you're gonna swap out the ultralight for the task force and you can swap out the bruiser for the field agent if you want and throw on the raider stock for the fifth attachment there's the ffar build i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you give it a shot all right so the mp40 actually received a slight buff in this update so here's the mp40 build we got the recoil booster the short barrel the cross snake iso 2m iron sight remove stock brace quick tape the 45 round mag the lengthen and the hand stop all these attachments are going to give you that really good recoil control while not sacrificing mobility and all in all hitting like a truck up close so make sure you give this build a shot now for the sten which is a super good mobility and really fast fire rate smg this is the build i'm currently rocking the recoil booster and the rapid barrel this is going to give you the maximum fire rate paired up with the 50 round mag and everything else is strictly for mobility it doesn't have much recoil so you should have a lot of fun with this one give it a shot all right so the marco 5 got updated as well in the patch notes so this is the build we're currently rocking with it the recoil booster being the muzzle the 355 barrel we're going to go with the slate the emerdo fr stock the momentum and quick and tape grip which is going to give you that really good mobility and sprint to fire and ads speed along with the mark 4 skeletal and of course the 64 round drum and the lengthened now if you feel like the recoil is too much swap out the mark 4 for hand stop leave everything else the same and let me know how that goes for you all in all this is my favorite marco build right now now i know we got some aug smg fans out there the aug has always been a lot of fun for me personally i'm going to show you guys my build we got the tack laser and the cqb comb which is going to give you the maximum ads and sprint to fire and of course the 30 round nato mag which is going to give you the maximum damage range and damage per bullet now simple this is going to be for the ads and of course slide of hand because you only got 30 rounds definitely a fun loadie to try out guys give this one a shot going over to the mw mp5 we got the monolithic integral suppressor the f-tech collapsible the operator foregrip the 45 round mag and the sleight of hand we run the integral suppressor for the bullet velocity and the collapsible stock is strictly for the movement speed now you want sleight hand to make sure you have enough ammo while fighting squads and of course the 45 round mag is the biggest magazine the mw mp5 offers you pair that up with the operator foregrip it's going to give you good recoil control now if you want to have better hip fire accuracy and you want a hip fire build guys you 
got to strap on the five milliwatt. You get to swap this out for the Merc for grip. And there you go. You got the hip fire build. Either way, guys, definitely need to give it a shot again. And of course, for those of you who want to run the CX-9, this is the build I'm going to be rocking after the new update. The CX for the barrel, the, 30, the 38S. Since you're, we're running this barrel, you cannot throw on a muzzle. Keep that in mind. Now, for laser, we're going to be going with the tack laser for the ADS. The CX-FR stock is going to be, again, for the ADS and the sprint to fire. And we got the 50 round mag because I feel like this gun's fire rate, you need that many bullets. And of course, the Merc foregrip to give us that recoil control. Give this build a shot. Let me know what you think. Going over to the Black Ops Cold War MP5, we're going to be going with the agency suppressor for that maximum damage range and bullet velocity. The Tiger Team Spotlight for the mobility. The Raider stock for the strafe speed. The Bruiser Grip for the movement speed. And the 50 round drum to give us the most ammo in a magazine. This Black Ops Cold War MP5 was so much fun to run. And I'm so glad it's viable again. Make sure you guys give it a shot. All right. So going over to the Bullfrog, the Black Ops Cold War SMG. This was actually one of my favorite SMG. So I'm glad this one's back too. We got the Gru Suppression and the Task Force. We were going to pair that up for the maximum damage range, bolt velocity, and recoil control. The Bruiser Grip and the Tiger Team Spotlight is going to be for our mobility. And of course, we got the Skeletal Sock to make sure we have a really solid strafe speed. Definitely, we're going to want to give this one a shot, guys. Remember, that headshot multiplier is pretty nice on the Bullfrog. So aim for the head. Okay, so believe it or not, the ISO actually received a buff too. So we're going to be giving this build a shot, man. We got the FSS Nightshade Barrel. Oh, we got the TAC laser and the collapsible stock. These attachments are going to be for the sound suppression, the ADS speed, and the movement speed. Of course, we got the operator to give us that good recoil control without nerfing the movement. And of course, the 50 round drum to make sure we have enough ammo to get the job done. So give this build a shot, guys, and let me know what you think. I mean, the ISO got a buff. We got to give it a shot. All right, so I know we got a lot of Ram fans out there. I know you guys want to know if it's going to be any good in the new midseason update. So here is the build I'm going to be rocking during it. We got the mono suppressor and the eclipse barrel for that damage range and bolt velocity. Of course, the three times because it's the most visual appealing in my opinion the commando foregrip for that stabilization while firing and of course the 50 round mag to make sure we have enough ammo to get the job done i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a lot of fun with these loadouts and if you do make sure to drop a like comment subscribe again i'd really appreciate it if there's any other builds you guys want me to run let me know in the comments let me know which one of these loadouts i selected for you guys to try is your favorite in the comments as well i hope to see you guys again on the next one and have fun on the game